the past few years, we've seen more and more organic and natural candies on the store shelves, but are they actually a better option or is it all just a big scam? So today we are talking about organic and natural candies. Now I'll probably use the terms interchangeably. All I mean when I'm talking about these sorts of candies are candies that use less processed ingredients. Maybe they don't have artificial colors and dyes and artificial flavors. Maybe they use better quality ingredients than their conventional counterparts. All of those different types of candies I'm gonna lump into this group when we're talking today. And real quick before we get started, if you do happen to be new here, my name is Sarah and I'm a registered dietitian and this channel is all about healthy eating and nutrition. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, then make sure that you subscribe. Now as a general rule, whenever I'm looking at two different food items, if one is more of a real food option, so if it does have the better quality ingredients and doesn't have some of that other stuff that maybe we don't love to have in our food, then I'm usually going to pick that one over the conventional item. And overall, I'm really happy that we're seeing more and more of these better for you products all across the grocery store. But that still doesn't settle the question of whether or not organic candies are a scam or totally worth the money. There are a few more things that we need to think about. First off, organic and natural candies and any organic food in general can start to have this halo effect. So people think because it's organic or natural, then that makes it a health food. And that's simply not the case. Organic candy is still candy and an organic cookie is still a cookie. And even though it might have better quality ingredients, doesn't mean that it's something that's super good for us. And it can especially become a problem if you actually end up eating more of those candies and sweets than you would if you just got the regular version because of that halo effect. If you got the regular version, would you maybe eat two cookies? If you got the organic one, would you eat a whole sleeve? You know, that's something that can happen. It's not something that always happens. Everyone is a little different, but if you are someone who especially can get this kind of halo effect in your mind and it can make you think about the food as something different than what it actually is, then that's something to consider. Another thing we have to think about is cost. Organic candies are oftentimes much, much more expensive and that's a real issue. Now a lot of people would argue that when you're buying the natural candies that you are paying for the true cost of that food. So maybe the natural candies do have better quality ingredients and they're not relying on cheaper filler ingredients. Maybe also those natural candies are doing a better job of paying fair wages when they're sourcing their different products because there are some concerns especially with chocolate production of different parts of the industry and parts of the world where the laborers aren't being treated fairly. Also, maybe these natural candies aren't using ingredients that are heavily subsidized and are therefore much cheaper. So there are some different things to consider here when we're talking about the economics of food and all of these different factors that are at play. And this is really a discussion that goes across all food categories. The fact that the natural candies are more expensive could also be a good thing because it means that you might buy less of it. If you have the same amount of money to spend on candy, then if you're going for the natural and organic options that are more expensive, then overall you're going to be bringing less candy home. So if you're someone who struggles with finding that balance right now of incorporating sweets and desserts into your life, but also making sure that you're getting enough of the other foods that you need, then that could be a positive for you because it's going to naturally control how much of this candy you have around. But this price thing can also be a negative because if you're someone who's going to buy the same quantity of candy regardless of the price, then that can mean that you're going to be pulling money from other areas of your budget. Now this might not be that big of a deal if you're going to pull money from something that's discretional spending, like your fun budget. Maybe you say, oh, we'll go to one less movie this month and that'll totally cover the cost of this more expensive candy. But if you're gonna be pulling this money from your food budget, then that could really be a problem because then you might be putting more money towards this candy portion and spending less money on healthy foods like fruits and vegetables. Another thing with this price issue to think about is could you, instead of getting the natural or organic candies, instead make some cookies at home? You know, something that you're making with good quality real food ingredients, but of course it's still a dessert, but it's still avoiding some of those things that you're trying to avoid by getting the natural and organic candies. Another option is to buy a bag of good quality chocolate chips or a good quality chocolate bar that you know you can break off squares. So you're still getting that kind of candy experience, but it ends up being a lot, lot cheaper than things that are packaged and marketed as candy. Now, as far as what I do personally, I typically only buy natural and organic candies for myself when I'm bringing it into 
the house. And even more often than that, I do go the chocolate chip or the chocolate bar route because I would rather spend my grocery money on actual food than on candy. So I can be satisfied by some, you know, dark chocolate chips that are made with really good ingredients. And that's fine with me. And if I do want something really specific, a specific type of candy, then I usually will go for the natural or organic option. But that doesn't mean that I never ever eat conventional candy. I mean, even though I don't necessarily buy it to put in my house, I do eat it on occasion when I'm out and about at family's house or friend's house or at some sort of event or something. And that's fine too, because it's not about being perfect um, or never eating certain foods. It's just about eating an overall healthy diet most of the time and then figuring out how to fit these other foods in there on occasion. No matter what kind of candy you're eating, you don't want it to be the majority of your diet. You want to find a way to fit it in there that's going to give you a healthy balance of foods. If you want to buy natural and organic candies and you can work it into your budget, then I say go for it. I think there's definitely something to be said for getting a better for you version. But at the same time, if you can't fit it into your budget, especially if buying it would mean that you'd pull money away from other healthy foods that are a much higher priority, then don't sweat it. It's not that big of a deal because candy shouldn't be making up a very large portion of your diet overall anyways. So is organic candy a scam? I don't think so. But at the same time, it shouldn't be at the top of your list when you're trying to prioritize buying healthier foods. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about natural and organic candies? And what is your favorite type of candy? Me personally, I really like a good peanut butter cup and I like Almond Joy and Mounds. I hope you like this video. And if you're new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and healthy recipes, make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated. And I wanna show you how to do it. And if you're loving the free info here, but you're finding that you need something more personalized, don't forget that I do offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching and counseling. So if you're interested in that, just let me know and we can get that set up for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.